top stories. More details of the Mossman collar bomb ordeal have come to light at a US court. Australian businessman Paul Peters has been charged with locking a fake bomb to a teenage girl to extort money from her family. He's appeared in a court in Kentucky and is being held there while Australian authorities start extradition proceedings. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce has been defending the airline's restructure. Qantas has come under fire from both sides of politics and the unions over plans to cut a thousand jobs and set up two new carriers in Asia. The Transport Workers Union says more jobs will be lost and the Greens' Adam Bant says it could force down wages and conditions in Australia. New Zealand apples will soon be sold on Australian shelves for the first time in nearly a hundred years. Biosecurity Australia has found that the risks posed by fire blight and other diseases can be managed. But imports must meet special regulations, including checks by Australian authorities, before they leave New Zealand. Some fruit growers say the measures don't go far enough. And the wayward penguin, Happy Feet, is set to go home this month. The emperor penguin was discovered on a New Zealand beach in June. He's since been at Wellington Zoo, recovering from operations to remove sand from his gut. Happy Feet will be released near Campbell Island.